Welcome to OneHash Tutorials. In this video, we will learn how to create a new user in OneHash CRM. To manage the user creation into the system, go to the home page. Under the administration, click on Users. Here we have user type, user profile, permission manager, role, etc. To invite a new user, click on Add New User. Enter the email address of the user. Enter the last name and first name. If you check the welcome email box, once you save it, it will automatically send an email to the user. Once you click on an added user, by default, the user will have a website user access. You can verify it under the security setting. Based on the user roles, you can assign the role like sales user, item user, and so on. By clicking on the sales user, you can check what all access the sales user has for different document types. These roles can be modified under roles and permission. Under more information, you can update the user's personal information like gender, mobile no, etc. Default themes can be selected. The password can be changed under manage password. The admin can manage it. Document notifications can be set. Under email, a signature can be added. If your email account is already configured, email account access can be set up from here. Under allow modules, you can control which all modules should be visible to the user. Under security settings, you can restrict IP, set login and logout timing for the user. By default, after the site creation, a user is a website user. Once we assign the role, it becomes a system user. In the third-party authentication, we can provide different login options. API integration for user can be done via API access here by clicking on Generate Key. Copy the secret code and save it. Reload the page to check whether the key is generated or not. If you regenerate the key, the previous token vanishes. To check what all access the user has, it can be checked under Permission. Click on View Permitted Documents. Select the document you want to check. We can change the user language and time zone under Basic Info. Save and reload. New user has been successfully created. Thank you.